Hi guys and welcome to yet another Grand Theft Auto 5 walkthrough. In this one we are doing the mission that of course is fame or shame. Um, which is one of the first missions where it's two characters that do the two characters you control together but of course you can't control them separately in the mission. You only control Trevor. Um, which is a bit strange, but it's funny. I I find it quite a hilarious little video uh, mission. Sorry, not a video. Mm. Um, but yeah. Um, what's been happening lately? Mm. Work. Busy with that. Just been working, working, working 24/7 all the time. Of course, I had a bank holiday just gone. Um, next week. I've got a funeral to go on Monday, and I then I've got Friday, and I'm off. But I'm not telling you why I'm off because that would destroy it. Um. Oh, but anyway, guys, yeah, I find that this game is getting really good, and you're getting into the good bits of it. And seriously, I find it so hilarious because, of course. The Michael is actually using a sub alias of I don't know what it is, but basically he's under is it like what we have in this country police protection? I think it is because of course he works for the police, so um, of course he works for them and he does a lot of work for them. Of course, that's his way. I think of staying out of prison because of course he used to be a purse a robber that used to rob jewelry stores and all that malarkey when he was younger and of course this is the first time you actually meet michael's family and personally i think a lot of this like the she the imp as NPCs, non-playable characters, they're a lot more human than they were in GTA 4 and of course GTA 3 and they seem like the conversations are more natural, their reactions are more natural and for start off as well it seems like it oper they operate at a better, mm, I don't know, can you put it, better rate? It's like the way they were and everything like that, the way they talk, what they actually say at the certain times is more like what a real person would say. So, really, they have made leaps and bounds with it in all the little bits of GTA 5 they've made a lot. Um, but anyway, that's enough about GTA 5 and the mission. Um, let's just... I don't know, because my head's just sticking. Oh, yeah, guys. Of course, the main thing is I've actually created a Facebook group for my network, which is the Lethal Legacy Network, which is a sub-network of freedom. Um, of course, I will post a link below of that Facebook page. But, of course, please do not join if you're not partner with leaf with the lethal legacy network if you are click on it and join and i either me or oh fuck me i can't remember his name but the owner this guy that actually started the network he'll let you on and add you and accept you or his wife will accept you because it's there's only three admins of it at the moment this part is fucking funny because you cannot fucking dance for shit and Lazlo is a complete ass dick um so yeah of course there's only three admins at the moment we've actually grew quite quick really but that's maybe because of course he sent it all out to all of the partners on email so of course you guys know about it where is it in but I, but, but I just, I'm still working on the rules and everything like that. Fame or shame? It's, it's. Sorry, I know I'm 
keep going, it's because my head's all over the fucking place lately because I found that early, but I don't know how to um, because I find that, I'm trying to find that, I'm in the process of finding out what it is, but, um, fame or shame, he's a bit like, Britain's got talent, and America's got talent, and all that shit, just basically the crap of people that can't fucking do anything, they just think, oh yeah, we can do this, and it's just mental, but, um, getting back to it, yeah, I've started the YouTube group, no, not the YouTube group, Jesus Christ, the Facebook group for the Lethal Legacy, course we have got some rules um, that of course if you go along to it and you want want to join and you're a, and you and you're a partner with us then it's fine but if you're not please don't try and join because it is literally just for us guys um, to talk communicate and just Um, communicate and network with each other because of course we all are in the same network so we need to it's just a way a central hub on Facebook other than the freedom group so it's only the lethal legacy partners that can talk about where we want our network to go not where we want freedom to go which of course if you want to talk about freedom and where do you want freedom to go you just, of course, go along and join the Freedom page. But the thing is, with Freedom, I think, off the top of my head, anyone can join it. Because it's just a platform for them to rake in people. Whereas in the group I've set up for the Lethal Legacy Network, my, le my network is for pe the partners so we can talk to each other and talk about what we want to do with our network as I've already said and stuff like that really and so we can set up collabs, collab, sorry with fellow partners of the same network because of course freedom that is a I don't know it's like it's literally like being partner with Machinima and you've got a subgroup sub network group inside Machinima get my drift because of course the guy that actually I never knew this I only read it because I was looking around the internet in actual fact George the guy that actually started freedom actually started TGN and he said something around it that he the reason he created freedom and left TGN was because of course TGM yeah, it's still quite a small network, but it's really turned out where it's hard for small channels to actually partner. And of course, he already said he want he wants to have a network where small channels like me, with only plus seventy subs, minus hundred subs, of course, and. Not that many views. I've got about 2,333 or 32,337, something like that at the moment. So in YouTube, since I'm classed as a small channel, um, and of course he set he left TGA because predominantly nowadays it's only decent and big channels with plus hundred subs that were able to draw um, join. So of course he set up Freedom. Um, which you can join with one sub, you name it, you can join because he wants it to be free and stuff like that really. Um, yeah, so of course he's designed freedom so any size sort of channel can join and it will help you promote really. And I just think it's a decent network as a whole, even though it's in a sub network, I don't think you can join freedom directly you can only join to their sub networks which of course is lethal legacy for mine um and on that note i will leave it right here guys so if you enjoyed the video slap a like on it as well subscribe to my channel share my video and i hope you enjoyed it fellow minions thank you very much for watching guys bye for now
okay. There you go. All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrité, uh -huh. I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> That's what you want. All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Oh. Come on. Lower. Oh, right. Lower. Oh. Come on. Oh. oh, please don't kill me, okay? Oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. Come on. Go. Get off. No. Take off. Go. Now, before I change my mind. Uh. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's going to see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Really enjoying doing this right now. It's... It's just starting to pick up, um, and 